Okay, uh, we're going to do a parts integration in a moment with Adam. And Adam's identified that he's got two conflicting parts going on. One is which way he wants to change, he wants to change a specific behaviour in his life. And another part that doesn't want to change and wants to hang on to that behaviour. So we're going to do parts integration and uh, get, try and get him to the point where he understands that both of those parts have the same higher intention so that in, he can integrate those parts back into himself and, and then move forward from there. We okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay then, Adam, um, what we're going to do is a process that's called parts integration. Um, from the conversation we've just had, um, I believe we've established that you've got two, two parts that are at conflict with each other. And correct me if I'm wrong. So you've got a part that wants to change and a part that doesn't want to change, that wants to stay the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to talk to the part of you that doesn't want to change. And I'd like to ask that part to come out and stand on either one of your hands. So which, which one of your hands would you prefer? On that hand. Okay. So just that's it, just position your hand like that. That's it. Okay. So ask that part of you that doesn't want to change to come and stand out on your hand. Does it want to stand at the front, the middle, or the back of your hand? Middle. In the middle. And does that part look, sound, or feel like anyone you know? I just envision myself. It's yourself. Okay, and, then, and at what age? Right now. Right now, it's yourself right now. Okay. So now, if we can talk to the part of you that does want to change, and if you can ask that part of you to come out on, on this hand, that's right. That's right. So does it want to stand in the, the front, the middle, or the back of your hand? Middle. In the middle. And and who's who's that part represent? Does it look, sound, or feel like anyone you know? It looks exactly like that person. Exactly like that person, at the same age. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so if you just focus all your attention inside, and if we start first to talk to the part of you that doesn't want to change, for what purpose? Confidence, to know that I can be that person. Confidence, what's the purpose of confidence? To get me through life. So okay, that's good, so to get you through life, what's the purpose of getting yourself through life? That's the question, isn't it? Uh, I guess to be happy. Happy for what purpose? Because it's better than sadness. Better for what purpose? It's a more enjoyable state. Enjoyable for what purpose? Enjoyable for what purpose? It just is. It's just better to be happy than sad. Okay, so we've got happiness, better than sad, enjoyable. All of those, what are the purpose of those? To be content with myself and... Yeah, to be content. To and the purpose of being content? Just be... To accept myself, that's really what it is. To accept yourself for what purpose? So I can live with myself. Okay, that's good. So you've got content, accept yourself, live with yourself for what purpose? So I can... Just be happy with myself. Okay. So I'll go back and talk again to the unwanted part. So, if we go back to habit, habit for what purpose? Because I know it brings 
Happiness. How it brings happiness for what purpose? To get me through unhappiness. To get you through. So you've got happiness and to get you through. Happiness and to get you through for what purpose? So I can live my life. Live your life for what purpose? <laughs> to be content. To be content. And are you noticing that some of the higher intentions of both parts are the same? Yeah. That's right. So focus all your intention inside. Content for what purpose? So I can be happy with someone else? Happy with someone else. For what purpose? To start a life without someone else. That's good. Start a life with someone else. For what purpose? To have a child and a legacy and everything that life is supposed to bring. So start a life with someone else and have a child. For what purpose? To feel complete. For what purpose? To, because I just think that's what people are, I just feel like that's what our job is as humans. To our job is as humans? Yeah. Okay, so if we go back to again to the side, it's the wanted part. To accept yourself and live life for what purpose? And allow those two parts to integrate and take the learnings that they have for you inside and integrate them into the larger whole. That's right. And any other parts, any other parts that are in conflict with. They want to join this integration, allow them to, to join. Say it out loud. Any other parts? Yeah, oh no. Yeah, Me? if you want to say it out loud, yeah. Yeah, definitely realizing that a lot of it has to do with part of me wants to be happy and part of me doesn't think I can't be happy. Okay. So. Okay, so if we reset that, if I ask the part of you that doesn't want to be happy to come out onto one of your hands, which hands is it going to come out onto? The left. And to the left, and does it want to stand in the front, the middle, or the back of your hand? The middle. The middle. Same picture. Same picture. And the part of you that does want to be happy. Can you ask that to come out onto your right hand? Front, middle, or back? Laying down Laying horizontally down. on the hand. And does that look, sound, or feel like anybody you know? Myself. Yourself? At what age? Um, Six months from now in the future. Future self. Okay. So, if we start and talk to the part of you that doesn't want to be happy, unhappy for what reason? For what purpose? Unhappy. Unconscious mind, that's right. I just. A lot of the reasons I don't know if I feel comfortable sharing on video for why. Okay, just go with what you're comfortable with. Unhappy because I've always been happy or unhappy. Habit again? Yeah. Habit for what reason? Because I know it stops the unhappiness. So, are you saying that the 
The habit protects you. Yeah. Protection for what reason? Stay safe and comfortable. Safe for what reason? So I'm not vulnerable. You're not vulnerable for what reason? So I can't get hurt? You can't get hurt for what reason? So I don't have to be hurt. So I've got not vulnerable, not hurt, safe. For what reason? Because it feels better than being unsafe. Feels better for what reason? For what purpose? Just does. Okay, and have you noticed that now this part has joined us, your hands are actually closer together than they were before? You've not done that on purpose, have you? No. Are you sure? Positive. Promise? Promise. Okay. So, let's go and talk for a moment to the part of you that does want to be happy. Happy for what purpose? To experience it. Experience for what purpose? Because happiness sounds... Good. Good for what purpose? That's right. Trust your unconscious mind. That's right. That's right. Just to be happy. To be... Safe. Safe for what purpose? Focus all your attention inside, that's right. To be protected. Protected for what purpose? To guard myself. Guarded for what purpose? So no one can see. For what purpose? Because if they did, they might not like it. For what purpose? Because it's better to be safe and invulnerable than to put yourself out there and be rejected and vulnerable. Okay. Safe for what purpose? Because it's the better than being unsafe. It's just what people like being safe. Like being safe. Like being safe. What's the intention of liking being safe? All your attention inside. That's right. That's right. Allow the past to come together only as fast as your unconscious mind wants to do so now. That's right. That's right. And as you notice your hands just slightly moving together, just take it as a sign of those two parts coming back together and integrating back into the whole. That's right. That's right. To focus all your attention inside. Take all the learnings, all the resources from those parts and bring them together. That's right. That's right. That's right. And any other parts that might be in conflict, allow them to join.
time. It's warm in here, is it not? Yeah. So, when you think in the future about changing and allowing yourself to be happy, how do you feel about them now? Busy then. He had four parts on the go, so there's a lot of integrating to do. Take your time. That's good to recognize the two similarities in both sides. Mm -hmm. Definitely both sides come from wanting to be happy but not thinking that I can. Mm -hmm. And finding ways that make me happy instead of, or finding ways that make me happy without putting myself at risk. Yeah. Yeah, that they both have the same higher intention for you even though their actions are different. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling? A bit. Spacey. Okay. <laughs> okay. Definitely a bit spacey. Yeah, you, you've got You've had a lot of integration going on there, and the integration process may carry on through the, the rest of the day or, or overnight. We're around mm. today and tomorrow. Um, so if there's anything you want to go over or chat about, just find somebody who can find us and we'll come chat to you. And just be kind to yourself and, and, and let it carry on. Some, sometimes people go, bang, I'm integrated, there we go. And sometimes it just, you've sort of done it twice over with, with more parts coming in, so. And it's been quite a split since, for a while now. Mm -hmm. You've done amazing. And you see, see there some minute ago uh, with Anne working with Adam. Uh, a, a great demonstration of how parts integration uh, is, is unique to an individual. Uh, in that example, you quite clearly see where other parts are coming into play, uh, different from where what we'd intended to start with, uh, and also a clear demonstration of where sensory acuity comes into play um, of understanding when integration is taking place. And uh, although in the process we identify the hands coming together. That in, in reality, you're working with the individual uh, and using a lot of other cues. Uh, so Ant was able to to step in and um, initiate that integration at, at a time uh, that, that was was was, uh, was right for Adam uh, and allow the, the process to complete. Uh, so I think uh, a great example of how things uh, how processes are unique to an individual.